is July 4th, and all across the upstate, there are plenty of celebrations planned. And this is a live look at Unity Park this morning. Beautiful this morning. Uh, it will, of course, be very, very busy later tonight, hosting Greenville's very first 4th of July celebration and fireworks display there at Unity Park. The event will run from 6 until 10 tonight. The fireworks are scheduled for 945. City officials are encouraging people to bring a blanket, bring a picnic, have fun. Now in Spartanburg tonight, red, white, and boom happening at Barnett Park. Everything will get started at 530 there, and that'll run until 10. Fireworks set to begin at 930. And we're going to have much more on local celebrations that are taking place today and tonight on our website and on the WYFF4 mobile app. During the 4th of July, many look forward to seeing the spectrum of colors soar through the air, but of course it's not always fun and games. Priscilla Thompson highlights how to enjoy those shows in a safe way. Take a look. Fireworks lighting up skies across the country this Independence Day weekend. But DIY explosions could mean getting burned on the 4th of July. Those blasts are greater than a shotgun blast. Fire officials in Palm Beach County, Florida, a state where residents can legally buy their own fireworks, warning just how quickly the festivities can blow up. They say lighting even the smallest of sparklers can mean big danger. Those burn at 2,000 degrees. You take a child at five and six years old and then they get a burn four times hotter than an oven. That's a traumatic experience. They live with that. Last year, at least nine people died and over 11,000 were injured in incidents involving fireworks. And those cases are soaring. Between 2006 and 2021, fireworks injuries increased by 25% in the U.S. The pandemic has sparked supply chain issues, making professional fireworks harder to come by and raising prices. This week, authorities in Azusa, California, seized 14,000 pounds of illegal fireworks stashed inside a home and storage facility. That amount is really frightening. One neighborhood in South Los Angeles was rocked by an explosion last year after a police operation to detonate illegal fireworks went terribly wrong, injuring 17 people and displacing some 80 residents. The explosives are especially dangerous during the severe drought in the western U.S., where officials fear they could spark a blaze. The, the safest way to celebrate? Leave the fireworks to the professionals and only buy them if they're legal in your area. If they are, here's how to set off sparks and not get burned. Light firecrackers one at a time and then get out of the way quickly. Never try to relight a firecracker that didn't ignite and don't set off fireworks if you've been using alcohol or drugs. Simple steps to light up the night without an accident extinguishing the fun. A wannabe 4th of July celebration in Southern California won't have much of a spark after the San Diego Sheriff's Office seized 500 pounds of explosive fireworks on Saturday. Authorities were tipped off by neighbors who heard fireworks in the area and the illegal fireworks were found stacked in this garage near some other homes. Officials say if the fireworks went off accidentally, someone could have been hurt or worse. There could have, been, could have been a lot of damage to the homes in the area. A 21-year-old man is now in jail. He could get a year in prison for stashing these explosives. Larger fireworks like these are illegal in California if not used by a licensed operator. Meanwhile, one upstate woman is celebrating a major milestone today. Talk about a happy birthday. Jenny Tucker of Anderson County is celebrating her 110th birthday. Tucker has been a resident of Anderson County her entire life. She celebrated yesterday by attending church, and she had lunch with a lot of her friends. One of those is her caretaker, who she's known since, she, since he was a child, over 60 years. On top of the celebration, Anderson County Council passed a resolution recently to honor Tucker for the milestone. What's the secret of being 110, Jenny? I was good and I went to church and I was good to all of us little children. You were certainly good to me as a little child. We've been together for 66 years. Sure have. <laughs> All right, someone else took notice of this milestone birthday. Tucker received a signed picture from former President Obama with a nice happy birthday.